Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you a review on the Aromatherapy Essential Oil Diffuser by BZ Seed. And I'm going to be sharing with you also a few of my favorite essential oil recipes and blends. But first things first, I love this diffuser. And disclaimer, BZ Seed sent me this diffuser uh, to review for you guys. And I'm excited to review it for you guys because I love my essential oil diffusers. I have them in several different areas around my house and this is a great addition to the ones I already have I love the size of this one it runs for 12 hours it has three different settings here as you can see one three and six hours and it has seven different color changing lights that you can set it to the color you want or you can put it on auto and it can change and rotate through the seven so let's jump into how the essential oil diffuser works so one of the things you're gonna get in your box is this measuring cup. This is really great for pre-measuring your water. An instruction manual that gives you instructions on how to fill it, how to clean the oil diffuser, and just overall take care of it. So you'll want to save that. So like I said, this is um, a great diffuser to have for a larger room or anywhere in your home. I have it sitting here in my dining room. I like to have dis essential oil diffusers in several different areas. So you're going to want to take your measuring cup and fill it to with the water. There's a marker on the inside of the water um, container to tell you where you want to fill it up. And I'm using one of my favorite blends here, which is cedarwood and lavender. The lavender has very calming properties. And for this size of a diffuser, I will use 10 drops of each of these oils. And one of the reasons I love essential oils so much is not only for scent but they also have a lot of healing properties and you want to make sure you're choosing pure essential oils from a company share with you really quickly a few of my favorite essential oil brands and some tools that i use in my essential oil journey so first up let's quickly chat about oils this is not going to be an in-depth video about essential oils if you're interested in that let me know in the comments below and i'll do a whole separate video on that. But there's two brands that I like and enjoy using. And the reasons that I like them is their quality of pure essential oils, their transparency as a company, and the variety of what they offer. So the first brand is going to be Young Living. If you know anything about essential oils at all, you've probably heard about Young Living essential oils. Young Living essential oils, you can buy them at retail or you can sign up for a wholesale account which is what i have i have a wholesale account and so i get these at a little bit of a discount because i'm a wholesale member if you want details about signing up there's a link below in the description box for you guys and the second brand of essential oils are plant therapy plant therapy is a small family-owned uh, essential oil company in Idaho and I enjoy this company because they're a family owned business. Again, they have transparency and great quality of pure essential oils. Um, you can buy these online directly from their website. I also have a link in the comments below for a $10 off your order. If you use the link in the comments, you can get $10 off your order. So um, I will say between the two different brands, um, Young Living is a lot more expensive and in my opinion, one of the reasons that they're more expensive is because you're buying Young Living through, when you sign up for a wholesale account, you sign up under a distributor technically. And so part of the cost in these essential oils is paying for the oils and then paying the distributor a commission. Uh, plant therapy, you're ordering them directly from a family owned business uh, so they're a little bit more affordable um, those are my opinions on the price difference other people might have different opinions that's my opinion but I think they're both great companies and the reason that I use both very quickly it's very simple uh, Young Living offers blends that plant therapy doesn't have that I love and that I enjoy for example um, Young Living has this M-Grain 
oil that I use for migraines and they have a stress away blend that I love and use for headaches and migraines and tension headaches. Um, Plant Therapy again has different blends. They have all the basic like peppermint, lavender, lemon. These are three that I use a lot um, together and on, on their own. As you saw, I put in the diffuser lavender and cedarwood. That's one of my very favorite calming uh, blends that I like to use. Um, peppermint is very invigorating. I like to put this in the diffuser and use it around my home um, to just energize and make it smell good. And I will say one of the reasons I love love essential oils is I don't buy regular traditional chemical filled candles anymore um, for two reasons. Number one, because it, regular candles have tons of harmful chemicals in them. And number two, this is terrible, but I found myself over the years leaving candles burning. I would light them and then I would forget to blow them out and they would be going all day. I have even left them going when I have left my home to run errands and come back and they've been still burning, which is a fire hazard, I know. So when I started using essential oils and realized that I could make my home smell good, chemical free and non-toxic and not have to worry about burning the house down, a definite win. The last resource I want to share with you guys is the essential oil pocket reference guide. You can get this on Amazon. I'll leave a link for you below, but this is just a great, um, reference. It will list like every single essential oil and its benefits and uses. And then the really cool thing in the back is it gives a topical guide to different ailments, um, that you can use it like bee stings and earaches and headaches and it'll give you a list um, of oils. Like here's one, um, the page for fevers and it will explain to you how to use the oils topically, um, what oils are good to use for that ailment. And so this is just a really great reference guide to have on hand. I use it all the time um, and I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys have not yet gotten yourself the diffuser, I highly recommend the one that I showed you in the video. It's very affordable. I'll leave a link to it below. And thank you BZC for um, reaching out to me and asking me to review one of your diffusers. You can never have enough diffusers in your home and ones that work really well and give off a really great mist um, are also key. So check out the diffuser. Thanks for joining me for today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.